here, Brit and Mike, and this is our dog, Leah. We're currently working on our dream of converting our new Ford Transit into a home on wheels. We recently took a vacation in search of warmer weather and beaches. In this video, we're continuing the series from our nine day trip to the Big Island of Hawaii with a visit to the Captain Cook Monument and a Kona Coffee Farm Tour. Good morning. It is Hawaii day five and I bought this $11 dragon fruit at the grocery store on our first day here. So we're gonna eat it for breakfast. Are you excited? Very. What else do we got? We got some avocado for avocado toast, some strawberries, and half of our $11 loaf of bread that does not cost $11 back home. So we didn't realize it was gonna be $11. All right, let's make breakfast. Did you have fun? I'm tired. <laughs> Did you guys know kayaking is hard? I've never kayaked before. Kayaking is hard and kayaking on the ocean I think is especially hard. But we're here. Ready to go snorkeling? My jacket is like suffocating me, but it's also <laughs> protecting my shoulders from the sun. So I just I wish that my goggles had sunglasses built into them. It's pretty bright, but it, and it's even cloudy. It's just pretty bright out here. What? My phone? One of my phones is Whoever's calling me right now, I'm busy. <laughs> Ready to kayak back? 
I am not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for your time to go slow. Yeah. For sure. We might need to take Are you happy? Oh my god, I'm so happy. You weren't happy a minute ago. I was not. What just happened? Zay Jones just ran deep down the right hash and caught a ball wide open in a crazy overtime game. I cannot even describe everything that led up, led up to that. It was insane. <laughs> Thank God that game's over, though. Agreed. I'm going with the Hula Hefe Weiss for sure. Another day, another breakfast at Herba Fours. We love this place. <laughs> Good morning! It is Hawaii day six. It's our last full day on the Kona side of the island and we are here at Greenwell Farms to do a coffee tasting tour. Coffee farm tour and tasting. Yeah, I'm really excited for this yeah. one. This one's gonna be good. <laughs> we haven't had coffee yet, so we're definitely ready for this. It's about 10, 15, we're taking a 10, 30 tour, so. Yeah. Let's go. Espresso roast. What do you think? is one of the largest and oldest coffee producers in Kona. Kona is one of the most expensive coffee varieties in the world because it can only be called Kona coffee if it comes from the coffee belt that's 30 miles long and two miles wide. Coffee trees do well here on the cool mountain slopes because they grow in rich volcanic soil and have afternoon cloud cover. From every 8,000 pounds of coffee berries produced, the farm yields about 800 to 1,000 pounds of actual coffee beans, and then they may only get 80 to 100 pounds of usable beans in total. This farm offers free 45 minute tours through their grounds, where in addition to coffee, they grow other plants like bananas, peppercorn, and avocados. My favorite coffee from the tasting was the chocolate macadamia nut. Everyone we know uses pre-made pods these days, but we picked up some granola from the gift shop as a souvenir. This is actually attached to a resort. They have 40 free uh, guest parking spots, and so if you come through as a um, non-hotel guest, you can get public access to the beach. And it is really nice. There's like not a lot of people here, and the weather is perfect. Yeah, and all you have to do is pull up to the gate and ask if they have any passes. If 
they don't have any passes, you just go to a beach nearby. Yeah, and it's free. Like, we paid $20, including $10 for parking and $5 per person to go to Hapuna Beach, which is like the next beach over. It's like five minutes down uh, south from here. Yeah. This one's free and there's less people on it because you have to get a guest pass, so. The rooms are $1,000 a night. <laughs> so, uh, we're definitely not staying here, but enjoying their beach anyway. Can I help you? How about you? We are enjoying the beautiful sunset. Um, this is our last full day on the beachy side um, of the island of Hawaii. This is our last full day in Kona. And then tomorrow we're heading to Volcano National Park and I'm um, gonna explore the Hilo sites. We're gonna do more hiking and um, just exploring the town of Hilo. So we are having the classic like Hawaiian sunset moment that we've been waiting for. Um, and we're really enjoying it. And the beach has thinned out quite a bit since it's getting a little bit um, chillier with the wind and the sun going down. Mm -hmm. 